Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily create these DIY Mother's Day mugs using dollar store mugs and holographic vinyl along with regular 651 vinyl. These mugs were so easy to create and so inexpensive. I'm going to show you step by step how to create these. Now let's get started. Right, guys so I'm starting in design space and this is going to be a quick and easy video tutorial I love creating things and I love sharing with you guys how to do it if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if you love this video after you're done watching it I work really hard on these and I love showing you step by step how to make things so getting started I'm starting in design space I uploaded these from design bundles or Etsy or also here in design space. So there's lots of great options out there. I'll leave the links below to design bundles for these, but I absolutely love these. So these are just a few of my favorite ones. There are a ton more that you can find, um, but I love making coffee mugs. They are, when I sell them, they are like my number two seller. My number one seller is my egg cartons. If you don't know how to do that, go back a few videos. I have a couple of videos on showing you how to make those. They are my number one seller. So now with Mother's Day quickly approaching, I figured I would show you guys how to make these really cute, awesome Mother's Day gifts. Um, I know myself, I would love to receive one of these, so I love making these. So with that being said, I'm just gonna choose a couple of these really quick. I like this one really uh, a lot. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I was kind of looking on the side and hoping that I could ungroup it and change the color, but it's not gonna let me. So I think I'm gonna change this one just to a holographic color and put this on maybe a white mug. So I have white mugs that I bought from Walmart for $2, and then I bought blue and black mugs from the dollar store. So you always have to check your sizes. They are different sizes for me. So for these, I'm, I always like to do them about a three by three, but you know what, this one looks really good the way it is so I think I'm gonna leave this but I'm gonna change the color really quick so I'm gonna go up to the color box here and I'm just gonna change it to not one of these ones I'm just gonna change it ran to a random color I'm gonna do blue and I'll tell you why in just a minute so if I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out let's say or if I didn't want to cut them all out but I also didn't want to delete them so let's say I don't want to use these so instead of xing out and deleting them I'm just gonna leave it be and go to make it and then let Cricut think I'm gonna cut them out so you can do it either or um, it's just the way I choose to do it I don't want to delete anything don't want to lose anything so I just changed the color um, to whatever color I want to use. So I know this one is going to be cut out with a holographic color and I'm going to find a different one. So I'm looking here on the side. So again, this one is all put together, attached, and there's no way for me to unattach it. Um, so I'm going to try to find one that I can actually show you guys how to change the color. And again, this one is also the same. Looks like, you know what, they all look like they are except for this one. So we have two pieces here. This one says love my mama and then it's got the red rose. So I think I'm going to show you guys this one really quick. So love my mama is all attached together. Um, so I'm going to leave it as it is, but I'm going to change the color. So I really pretty much think I'm going to change it to this blue because I'm going to cut it out the same color holographic. So I'm going to go up to the color box here and then just find the blue that I was just using. But now as you can see, it changed the rose too. So I'm actually going to go up to here to the ungroup button and that's going to ungroup all of my pieces and now I just want the rose piece here so now I can go ahead and change it I'm going to change it to let's say um, I don't want one that's already used up here so I'm going to use this red color here even if I don't want to cut it out red um, I just want a different color than all these up here so because I ungrouped it I'm going to go back and make sure that it's attached here and it looks like it is because when they made the file they made it attached already so I'm going to select both pieces the wording and the rows and I'm going to just change the size really quick like I said I would rather it be like a three by three so I'm going to leave it locked once and I'm going to change this to a three and then I'm going to see what it looks like so kind of gives you a better dimension instead of doing it three by three Cricut automatically just adjusts it for you so if I change this let's say we're going to change this to a three I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's going to look really skewed, see? So I'm going to leave it the way that it was. So I'm going to click the backspace here. 
or the back button and I love it the way that it is so these two are done so this one and these this one and this one I'm going to cut out in this holographic color and maybe put on my white one and um Oh, I love this one. This one cute. Mom upside down spells wow. So again, it looks like all of these besides that one are all attached together. Oh, this one here. So this one is not attached together. So basically, shoot, all of these are all attached and there's nothing I can do to change the color um, besides changing the whole color. So you can if you really want to. You could do it one of two ways. You could, um, you know, get a shape on the side here, pick up a square, and then go over what you want to get rid of, and then basically select both images and slice it. But I'm going to save that for another video. If you guys would like to see how to do that, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll, I'll take my time and show you what I mean for that. So if I would duplicate this and slice it, I can change uh, two different colors on here, but I'll save that for another video. So that's just another thing that we can talk about. So I love this one too. My favorite people call me mom. I love that because obviously I have four kids and I love it that they call me mom. So I'm going to do this one too. I'm just going to change the color on here. Let's say a pretty yellow color, but now I want to change the size again. So I want to I'm going to leave it locked up here, but I'm just going to take the double arrows here and just stretch it. I know my dimensions are about three by three, so I don't want to go much over that. So I'm going to finish with this one. And this one's actually pretty cute. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any grandmas left. They both passed away. But I know a lot of people that have grandmas, so I think this would be really cute to create for them as well. Um, for some reason, design space, there we go, didn't want to let me click on that one. So again, I'm not going to unlock it up here. I just know my dimensions are going to be three by three, but I want to stretch it as much as I possibly can without going too much over the three by three. Um, but again, check your cup size. Every cup is always different. So I don't want to tell you three by three and then yours is a lot larger or smaller than that. So again, this one is all one piece already. There's nothing I can really do except for changes all one color. So this one, I'm just going to change, let's say a green, just so it cuts on a different kind of mat. So again, going back with this, I could select all these, exit out and delete it, or I can just do it the way I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go to make it and then it's going to bring up a whole bunch of mats on the side here. So you can choose to cut these out if you want, but again, I'm not. I'm just taking the ones that I just changed the color to. So this yellow one and this green one and then also this blue one. So remember these blue ones were going to be the holographic and then it was going to cut out this red rose up here. So I have these four that I'm going to be cutting out. So to start with this, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go to continue and I'm going to show you which setting I always use. So obviously for this first one, this blue one, I'm using holographic. So I'm going to use a different setting that I will for these uh, other three. So once you're done cutting this specific one out, if you're using holographic, please make sure you go back and change the settings for these because it will shred your vinyl if you're using a different kind of setting. Okay, so this is the one I normally use, the stencil vinyl, but because I'm going to be using the, pre the holographic, I'm going to use this one, this premium holographic. Um, but again, if you're going to be cutting these other ones out like I am with regular vinyl, please go back and change it. It's very easy to do. You just go back up here and then you click on whichever one that you want. But when I'm using my holographic, I don't know if it's because my blades are getting dull on me or what the problem is, but I always go to more. When I'm cutting out holographic, I go to the pressure and I always click more. I do have the maker machine, but it's still giving me problems and it doesn't cut out all the way through when I don't put more pressure. So always look out for that. If you're having problems with it, you can always choose more or less pressure. So I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to cut this one out, like I said, on holographic, and then I'm going to cut these out on regular vinyl. I don't think I'm going to be using green Green, but I just wanted to show you that these other ones up here are all black so I couldn't choose that color so whatever colors you want to do but I'm gonna start out with this one I'm gonna cut it out I'll weed it out and then I'll show you what my cups look like and how to apply it all right so I weeded my files out you can see it here I absolutely love this holographic vinyl I think it has to be my favorite kind that I have so I love it. So I made a whole bunch of those and then I started doing these just to show you what they would look like. So this is the holographic on the black vinyl, I mean on the black cup. And then here's another one on this blue mug. 
And um, so I wanted to show you. So this one, these cups I bought at Walmart, they are $2 a piece uh, rather than a dollar from the dollar store, but these are definitely a lot bigger than the regular dollar store mugs, but I absolutely love these. These are the blue ones and it has a little bit of a ribbed edge on it, so I really like these ones. So you want to take some alcohol, put it on a paper towel or a cotton pad, and then just clean the surface really, really well. Uh, you don't want any marks or anything on it or finger marks or dust or whatever you might have. Um, so wash it really well. Let it sit for a second to dry. And then you want to take your transfer tape. And I talk about this a little bit. Uh, I really love this transfer tape. It's from uh, Frisco. And it has the lines on it, which makes it a lot easier trying to line stuff up to it. And it's really sticky. I've been having problems with the dollar store brand that I bought. So I really love this. Um, Transfer tape. So if you're looking for some more, um, I would highly suggest this kind. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to line up my file with it. And I'm just lining the top line up with it so it all goes on straight. So once you get it on, you just take your little squeegee and squeegee it on. And then I like to work backwards to make sure everything comes off properly. So I'm just peeling it up backwards. Perfect. And then your cup should be dry by now, but you want to make sure that it is. And then the other thing you want to think about is do you want it left-handed or right-handed? I do most of mine right-handed, so I'm just doing the handle on the left side so when you hold it, you'll see it on the right. And now because this is a little bit ribbed on here, you can see it there, I'm kind of trying to go on one of the lines there, but then trying to keep it in the center as well. So that's where this transfer tape is really nice that I can kind of gauge where the middle is. So I put it on and then I'm just going to use my fingers and spread it side to side. Just like that. And I'm just going to use my thumb and push it on really hard. And then I'll just peel back. Oops, got stuck on the inside. I'll peel back this transfer tape. I think they look good. Thanks, Emma. I don't really like the... I like this one. Yeah. I don't really like that white on yellow. I might have to just redo that one. I thought it would look a lot better, but you can hardly see it. So always be weary of what color you're going to be putting on your mugs. Yeah, I don't like the yellow too much. Yeah, no, I think I might redo that one. These holographic ones are really nice. Though. Yeah, I really like those. So here is this one, best bonus mom ever. So this would obviously go to, you know, like a stepmom, but um, again, right hand, I'm right handed. So when you drink, you can see it on that side. So that is just how you do it. It was so simple to do. I really like this blue one. Um, the mom upside down spells. Wow. I thought that was kind of neat. Oh, okay. And then I also have this one, always my mother, forever my friend. I really like this one. I think I actually might put this on a white one. What's this rose for? The rose is for this one. It says, I love my mama. And then you just put the rose on the side there. Cool. But I have one more white mug that I thought I would put on this one. So again, I really like this holographic on here. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Just take my piece of paper towel with the alcohol in it, rub it really well. And then just give it a second or two to dry and then use the transfer tape over here. And then just put it on there. So again, you just want to take it and then line it up with one of the words at the top, just like that. And then just use your squeegee and squeegee it down really well. And then I just work backwards. And then peel it backwards to make sure everything comes off. And I've never had a problem with this transfer tape. I absolutely love it. So now my cup should be dry. And again, I'm doing the handle on the left side. And then I'm just taking this and lining it up where I want it to go. I kind of want it in the middle more. Now that color looks good with white. Looks better, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it sticks out a little bit nicer. And the words seem bigger than the other ones, the letters. So there. And the thing is, is if you make a mistake with this and you put your vinyl down, this is 651, the permanent no vinyl. There's no going back. 
Well, there is though. You so can peel it off. I was gonna say, yeah, if you, I just did that one with the other yellow one uh, before I started this video. So if you do make a mistake, you can peel it off quickly. So this normally sets within the first 24 hours. So once you have it on, it's gonna stay on there. Still, I recommend not putting it in the dishwasher or soaking it into water because it will come off eventually, um, even though it is the 651 vinyl. So now I'm just pulling this back and we'll see what it looks like. That looks really nice. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back and take it off right away. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to go and cut it again, but it's worth the time, I think. So this one, I really you love this one. You can't for. I like that too. Yeah, I really like how this turned out. And then again, it's nice and straight at the top because of the transfer tape, it had the line on it, and then these have the little ribs on the top too, so you can see you know, where the line is on them. So I really love how this turned out. Again, this one, I'm gonna have to just take it apart, unfortunately, because I thought the white on or the yellow on white would look a lot better. Kind of doesn't look too bad in person, but I don't know, it's kind of too did dark. Did you do a video on this one? I did. You should go check out this video. <laughs> well, it doesn't really show up on camera, but it's really pretty. It says, always my mother, forever my friend. Oh, you can't see, can you lift the camera up? And it has, it's a flower vase, and she made more of them. I'm just trying to push my videos for me. So yeah, this was the last video that I did. It just doesn't show up on camera too well, but it looks really nice. This yeah. one might show up better. Always my mother, forever my friend. It's a flower vase, and then you can put flowers in it. Yeah, I just bought these from the dollar store, and it just looks just like this. So I was thinking I put some rocks or something down at the bottom, or I don't know what they're called, jubilees or something, where you fill it, you, they're like little pellets, and they grow with water, and I thought that would be kind of neat in there. So you can actually use those for real flowers. So if you want to check that out, check back my last video. Um, that's I'll show you how to do that and where I get all my supplies from. But this is uh, the finished products. I, I think my favorite really is this black, the holographic on the black. I think that looks the best. So I have one more black cup from the dollar store here, which is a little bit larger. Um, but pretty much my supplies I got were the dollar store for the cups, and then I bought the holographic vinyl from Amazon. So I will leave all the links in the description below, but I thought this would be a really quick and easy Mother's Day gift for everybody to do if you're looking for a project to do. But again, I just love how these turn out. I can't wait to put these in the store that I sell at. Hopefully it'll do really well. But you know what? If you like this, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and that yellow icon so that it will show you every time I have a video coming up. Um, I'm trying to do a lot more Mother's Day ones. I have another one coming up for a little keychain. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up and give me... And, so, and just leave the video a thumbs up, please, and thank you. Yeah, just leave my video a thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, happy crafting, everyone.